Harry Kuehl will be taking over the captaincy from Lucas Neal, who's on suspension for bringing down star Qatar striker Sebastian Quintana on Sunday night. Although the Socceroos have already qualified for the World Cup, the coach says they're still taking the game seriously. Yeah, not a friendly match, it's a serious World Cup qualification match and what I've said, we want to be number one in the group. The players agree. Uh, today is a, an important match, so we want to continue the good run. We want to continue, um, you know, have a, a defensive record that we have, not conceding a goal, and, and uh, you know, we, wanna, we feel like we need to uh, to go out there and perform well, also for the Australian public. He says it's been a difficult campaign, but it's paid off. Uh, with two games to go, we've already qualified for the World Cup in 2010, and you know, it's a dream come true. Less than 40,000 tickets have been sold for the match. In rugby union, the Wallabies have made two changes to their starting lineup for Saturday night's match against Italy. Dean Mum will replace Justin Hodgson, who's out with a shoulder injury, and 18-year-old James O'Connor will make his run-on debut at fullback, replacing Adam Ashley Cooper. O'Connor says he'll be looking for opportunities. I think I got picked to play my natural game, so that's what I'm going to do. Just jump on that second ball player role and um, hopefully get some one-on-ones out wide. The Italian team have also arrived in Canberra with former Penrith Panther Craig Gower expected to run on for Italy as a dual international. Australia's early exit from the 2020 World Cup has been compounded, copping a fine for slow over rates in their loss against Sri Lanka. The Aussies were judged to be one over short of the target at the end of Sri Lanka's innings. Test players will now regroup in Leicester for training camp ahead of the Ashes. Nathan Connors, QT News.